Hello, I'm Dr. Marcos Mestre, a pediatric hospitalist and senior medical director of pediatric services at Nicholas Children's Hospital. On May 14th, the Centers for Disease Control released a health advisory to inform clinicians about multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children associated with coronavirus disease 2019, otherwise known as COVID-19. This health advisory was based on reports from across the world on an inflammatory syndrome which was occurring in children after a COVID-19 infection. On April 26, clinicians in the United Kingdom reported increased cases of previously healthy children presenting with a severe inflammatory syndrome, much like Kawasaki's disease. In early May, the New York City Department of Health received reports of children with multi-system inflammatory syndrome, and as of May 12th, the New York State Department of Health identified 102 patients with similar presentations, many of whom tested positive for COVID-19 infection by nasal swab PCR or serologic antibody testing. MIS-C stands for Multi-System Inflammatory Syndrome in Children. Children who have been infected with COVID-19 recover from it and later have an immune response that results in significant levels of inflammation in organ systems, which leads to certain symptoms. It is very similar to other inflammatory conditions like Kawasaki's disease and toxic shock syndrome. This is a rare condition, but parents should be aware of the signs and symptoms given the severity of illness. Most children have a fever, which is a temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.0 degrees Celsius or greater lasting several days along with other symptoms. Common symptoms include irritability or sluggishness, abdominal pain without another explanation, diarrhea, vomiting, rash, conjunctivitis or red or pink eyes, enlarged lymph node on one side of the neck, red cracked lips or red tongue that looks like a strawberry, swollen hands and feet which might also be red. If you think that your child has multi-system inflammatory syndrome, you should contact your child's pediatrician immediately. At Nicholas Children's Hospital, we are working with pediatricians in the community, and should your child need further evaluation and treatment, our team of clinical experts is available to provide the medical support your child needs. Once in our care, your child will be evaluated and treated by our team of clinicians, including a pediatric infectious disease physician and a pediatric cardiologist. If your child is severely ill, you should go to the nearest emergency room or call 911 immediately. The emergency department at Nicholas Children's Hospital is open and ready to respond to your child's urgent medical needs. If a child is very ill and requires admission to Nicholas Children's Hospital, they will need treatment to decrease the inflammation in the body. This includes treatments such as immunoglobulin and steroid therapy. In more severe cases, immunomodulators help control the inflammation caused by an overactive immune system. Nicholas Children's Hospital is ready to respond to your child's needs. We are taking extra precautions to ensure the safety and health of your child and family, including temperature screenings, requiring the use of masks, and enhanced cleaning protocols. Multi-system inflammatory syndrome is not contagious. However, it is possible your child has an active COVID-19 infection or another underlying infection that may be contagious. If that is the case, the appropriate precautions as recommended by your physician should be followed. At Nicholas Children's Hospital, our team of experts is available to address any of your questions or concerns as it relates to multi-system inflammatory syndrome.
or any other COVID-19 related matters. Please contact your pediatrician or feel free to call our COVID-19 community hotline at 305-669-7191. The health and well-being of your child is our number one priority. We're taking all the precautions necessary to create a healthy and safe environment for your family. We are here to help. Thank you for choosing Nicholas Children's Hospital.